Well, some local high school athletes are already participating in summer workouts despite increasing cases of coronavirus across the Carolinas. But like we told you yesterday, within a week of returning, Fort Mill High School shut down football workouts because of a positive test within their program. Meanwhile, CMS is looking to return July 6th. WCNC Charlotte's Rob Hughes has more on the protocols in place to keep student athletes safe. If you're picturing traditional practice, you can think again. Right now, it's mostly conditioning, meaning social distancing is much easier. But it's still no guarantee that a student won't show up with coronavirus. Yeah. This summer is a completely different look to our high school athletics. High school sports returning this summer with new practices before practice. Every athlete, when they come to the practice daily, receives a temperature screen as well as a symptom screen. Fort Mill School spokesman Joe Burke says the district is following the protocols as recommended by the South Carolina High School League. In addition to screenings, they're limiting groups to nine athletes and one coach and encouraging social distancing when possible. A high school in Arlington, Texas, released its own drone video showing what workouts look like while social distancing. Our coaches are wearing masks full time and following the guidelines from the high school league, our players are asked to wear masks while not participating in drills. And as someone in the Fort Mill High School football program has tested positive, that part of the plan is already in action. Those people potentially exposed, directly alerted. It's made possible by the 10-person groups organized and tracked by the district. On top of that, Fort Mill High School still canceled football workouts for the rest of the week. We want to make this a safe and healthy environment as best we can for everybody involved. Right now, the plan is for the Fort Mill High School football team to return to practice next week, of course, barring any additional transmission of the virus. Rob Hughes, WCNC Charlotte.